Good morning, hello. My name is Anna Kmetsova and I'm a first aid trainer for the Slovak Red Cross here in Prešov and I work as a volunteer. It was maybe 15 years ago when I first signed up for a first aid or healthcare group, and this continued for nine years at elementary school. We were learning first aid and entered competitions. The Slovak Youth Red Cross is a part of the Slovak Red Cross. There are people aged from 15 to 25 years and they focus on working in the area of first aid, social care and other activities. One of the many tasks of the Slovak Red Cross is to teach pre-medical first aid to people so that they are able to take care of an injured person should something happen to them and an ambulance is on its way. Many people have the idea that they would rather do nothing so as not to make things worse. But we managed to teach people that those five or ten minutes when an ambulance is on its way are very important and it is very important for people to do something. The Slovak Youth Red Cross is active across the whole of Slovakia and these activities as well as other local activities in Prešov. We work closely with kindergartens in a project called Evička Diti, where our volunteers go once a month and we talk about first aid. For example, what to do should Evička scrape her knee or how not to be afraid of blood and first aid. Then there is safety on roads, where we talk to children of the first grade of elementary schools about safety, how to prevent traffic accidents, how to cross zebra crossing, what to do and how not to be afraid when something happens, like an accident. For the second grade, we run a project called HIV prevention, where we talk about HIV, prevention and transfer, how they can protect themselves against it. For secondary schools, we run a project called International Human Rights, where we talk about the role of the Slovak Red Cross in time of war and peace. Talking to children in kindergartens or elementary schools, students in secondary schools or universities, each has its own magic, pros and cons. When I'm with the youngest children, they listen carefully to what I'm saying and try to learn. With young people, it is more problematic. They're unwilling to try new things, they don't know what they're good for, and they think there's no need to learn them, and they only sit there and listen to it just because they have to. When it comes to adults, they like to discuss and speculate about details, but it is very interesting to talk to them as well as elderly people. Actually, I'm a coordinator of volunteers, so when there is an event or we have a project, my task falls within this administrative phase to prepare this event and then to organize some material technical matters, then to call all the volunteers and inform them about the event. During it, be helpful to everyone in order to finish the event successfully. When young people come here for the first time, they have many questions and maybe some fears. They are afraid. However, they are interested in joining some activities, but maybe they don't know what is expected of them. I try to be very open and get them into it. I try to answer their questions in the best way.
I have the feeling that young people see me as a boss. They're afraid of me. I don't know why, because I see myself just like one of them. She has brought many young people, many new volunteers, to the Slovak Red Cross. Anka Kmetsová came to our school and talked about first aid. I'm very keen on it, and I would like to become a volunteer too. Each volunteer plays his or her role to the fullest extent to ensure an event is completed successfully. I could shout out, come, it will be a great event and fun, we will be with children, children, we will play games, but it is only my perception of the event. Someone else could see things totally differently. I agree with the idea that what a person tries will motivate him or her to do more, to try something else and to embark upon more. I realized a very long time ago that I'm an altruist and I want to help people. And why it is so, where it comes from, I don't know. I recognize that this is what I want to do in my life. So I focus on it and I help in any way I can. I would really like to thank everyone, Anka as the coordinator of volunteers, and also all those young people who come to the Slovak Red Cross daily and join the activities, be it donating blood, giving first aid, or doing social activities, for their work, time and their zeal. When I was trying to decide where to go to university, and what to do with my life, one person told me, you have the most beautiful mission in life. You teach people how to save lives.